Hey everyone, and to my US subscribers, happy 4th of July. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a kind of faux watercolor manicure. The theme that I'm doing today is patriotic, but also the US women's team is going to be playing in the finals for the World Cup on Sunday, so I'm making this manicure last until then at least because I fully plan on cheering those ladies on. This is a pretty easy technique. I can't believe I don't use it more often. It looks really cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. So let's get started. The materials and tools list along with affiliate links will be down below in the description box if you are interested. Since I'm going for a patriotic theme, I used a red and blue sharpie along with red, blue, and an off-white polish. For this effect, you'll also need rubbing alcohol, a small little container to pour that out in, and a paintbrush. And you'll also need some of your favorite top coat. First things first, start with your light base coat. White or off-white would work best. The one I have on now is like a light powder pink color. Then top it with your top coat as you usually would. Once that's dry, we get to do the fun stuff. Pour out a bit of the alcohol into a small cup. I have this adorable shot-sized red cup which apparently is super American. Not the shot size specifically, but the red cup in general. So I guess it's kind of fitting to have this on the 4th of July. But anyway, use your Sharpies and scribble the colors on randomly. I wanted to have some of the light base show through more, so I tried to space out these scribbles a bit. Dip the paintbrush into the alcohol, let the excess drip off, and then lightly dab the brush over the Sharpie scribbles. So, this red Sharpie that I got ended up turning like a neon orange when I started to dab the alcohol on. For reference, this red was called Fiery Red. So, if you're looking for a good red, then this is not the one to go for. If you're looking for a neon orange, then maybe you want to pick this one up. Anyway, that's not the look that I was going for. So I removed the colors on this finger, and I decided that I would just paint over this with a solid color, and then do the watercolor nails on two of my other nails. I have a bunch of Copic markers, which are alcohol-based, so I thought that I'd try one of my red ones to see if that one would be the right color, and to see if Copic markers would work with this technique to begin with. Lo and behold, it worked. Thank goodness. Anyway, back to the tutorial. If you're using colors that are really different, I'd suggest working on one color first, cleaning off the brush in the alcohol, and then working on the other color, and so on and so forth, depending on the amount of colors that you're doing. My brush was more of an angled square type shape, so I was able to work with one color on one side and then flip it over and work on the other color with the other side. Especially because red and blue are primary colors, if I just went at it without cleaning the brush or using the other side of the brush, then my nails would just turn into purple nails. Just keep dabbing on the alcohol until you get the look that you want. If you find the color dilutes too much, you can totally add more Sharpie and then dab the alcohol over that, repeating this until you get the look that you want. I went back and painted my other nails, the red and blue, so I had three solid colors, red, off-white and blue, and then the two accent nails that were the watercolor ones. Then I topped it all off with my favorite top coat. You may notice that the colors look a bit more diluted once I put the top coat on. Actually, I think only the red lightened up a bit. Maybe it's because it's a Copic marker instead of a Sharpie? I didn't mind it so much because I wanted the base to show through anyway. I did my other hand. I wanted all my nails to be in random order, so that's what I did. And once the top coat is dry, they're done. I love this technique. I thought it was super easy and the effect is really cool. I can't wait to use it in more of my manicures. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, those will be linked down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them.
it's totally optional. I'll still be making videos either way. It just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.